Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android Guy. Today I'm going to be going over the S-Voice Preview. Now I'm calling this a preview because this is the hacked version of S-Voice that I got from XDA developers. So if you don't know how to download it, uh, definitely click on that link so you can find out. Now uh, with this S-Voice, it is limited. I'll start with that. It is limited compared to the S-Voice that will be on the Galaxy S3. Oops. Uh, don't, don't, don't do, don't record right now. Uh, <laughs> it, it heard me say Galaxy S3, good job. Um, so now, you'll see a lot of things on here that it can do. And yes, you can wake it up by saying Galaxy, um, hi Galaxy. So, uh, and, I, and I just started it by saying hi Galaxy. <laughs> Got it, okay. So, how uh, you would normally uh, use this is so you can see how it works let me just tap this again is you can actually say you know everything from call to text message to search navigate memo now here's the thing to look up you can't do it on this because it's looking for the contacts app you also can't do memo schedule task Things that use Samsung apps you cannot use on this version. Now again, this version can only be used for Android 4.0 as I said on the how to install S-Voice uh, video. So um, you are limited a little bit more in terms of what you can do. Now you can actually use this for, you know, you can use it for timer, again, driving mode, things like that. Those are things exclusive to the S3, but you can do it like, what's the weather like today? So. What's the weather like today? Now let's be honest. No Android person will ever ask this question. It is stupid. It is something that only Android people would never use and Apple people would. The reason why? We have the weather widget. We don't need to ask the weather. It's on our freaking home screen. So no Android user will ever use that, let's be honest. I know that's always demoed and I demoed it purposely for that reason, but no Android user will ever ask that question. It's just silly. What you will use it to do though is calling and texting people. And this uses Android voice commands which are the most accurate. So say if I wanted to text uh, my friend uh, Wayne, I would say, text Wayne BBY. Hey man, how are you doing? Okay, here is your message. Ready to send it. Send. Right. Sending your message now. So it's just that easy. Now, the thing about this, the way I want to show that, is that's actually two words. Um, that, you know, I relate, I, I have it so that a friend, even with a you know complex last name, could uh, be caught on very easily. I could even do it with my girlfriend's name, which is rather unique. Tex Shaquinta. Hey baby, I'm recording a video. Send. It always lags on that send. <laughs> so there you go. Um, you can actually just send it right there if you want, um, and then it's sent it to. Um, now the other things you can do. The other things you can do is actually like uh, look up a restaurant. So find an Italian restaurant. Now the cool thing about this is you can actually call right then and there on the listing or you can actually touch the address to navigate you right to the Italian restaurant. Which is really cool that you can do that uh, built in on it. Um, and you can also see the ratings off of uh, Google Places, Zaga Guide and all of those. So it's really kind of cool overall. So uh, I definitely have high expectations for S-Voice and how it'll turn out. It's really accurate and that's what I love about it. 
Um, and I think it'll be really good when it comes out uh, and it has all of the functionality. I will show a full review on S Voice when it does come out on the Galaxy S3 because you guys know I'll get that opening day. Alright, this has been R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy.